There's a new Star Trek show coming out, so I thought I'd make a quick video on this magnetic com badge I made. The ones that come with the costume keep breaking off, so I decided to make my own. It was sculpted out of clay, then I made a mold of it, then I filled it up halfway with resin, let it harden for a day, and then while the resin was still not necessarily tacky, but you wouldn't want to demold it, I placed a magnet in the center with just a few drops of resin, let that sit for another day until it hardened, and then I filled it up the rest of the way with more resin. Then I demolded it and I washed it off, which is very important because it's covered with grease and you don't want to paint a resin prop over before you've removed the grease. And then I coated it with gold rub and buff and then silver rub and buff, which, you know, actually I'm not crazy about the job. It's kind of flat and it looks a little, a little messy close up. I can get away with it because you're never really supposed to see these props close up, but you know, they're, it's a tiny little speck on the uniform in a wide shot. But the next cast that I'm going to make, I think I'll go over it with Molotow Chrome and you can use any sort of backing on the inside of the uniform to get it to stick. But just because I have multiples, I'm using uh, one that didn't come out as good <laughs> as the interior. And it's pretty strong. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Let me know what you thought of this type of video in comments down below. I know it's a bit out of left field for me, but I mean, yeah, how long can you make a video about a com badge? That's the, <laughs> the video is only padding. But I did want to address the reality that I've built a lot more Star Wars props than I think anything else, let alone Star Trek. And that's not so much a personal choice as it is Star Wars seems to be a lot more prolific in terms of how often they release new content. It seems like every month there's a new movie or spin-off show featuring a plethora of props. Although there have been a lot of Star Trek spin-offs lately, so I don't know that they're catching up or it's like a reactionary thing. Like, sci-fi is hot right now. What space show do we have the rights to? Which is totally what happened when the first Star Wars movie came out as well. But that's a whole nother video. And I've just been like, I've had a backlog of Star Trek builds since 2016. So yeah, let me know what you think of Star Trek content and what Star Trek props you'd like to see me make in comments down below. Happy crafting. See you later.